Our hobby can be really expensive. That's why I think it's very important to invest in products that have a good quality price balance. So today we're gonna talk about colors, comparing the most well-known range of colors, Citadel, with my newfound favorite color range, AK Interactive 3rd Gen. The Games Workshop range has 240 colors, including contrast, base, layer, dry, and shape, and also technical, special effects. They come in pots of various sizes, 12 milliliter pots to 18 milliliter pots, and the average price ranges between $6 for 12 milliliter and almost $8 for 18 milliliter pots, which is a shit ton of money for paints. Plus, they don't sell the full range, they only sell bundles for contrast paint, base, and shades. So I had to calculate with my big brick big brain uh, the prices of the other ones. The total price is $1,210, which is a lot, a lot of money. On the other side, AK Interactive does have a full range of color with 230 paints, intense, regular acrylics, metallics, inks, whatever, uh, coming to a price of $626. And they also come in a wooden box box, which is very, very cool. A single color comes in a 70 millimeter dropper bottle and it costs $2.90, so almost $3, but the price is very, very competitive for miniature painting colors. So comparing the prices of the 18 milliliter pots from GW, which is almost $8, and the price of the AK Interactive one for 70 millimeters dropper bottles, the price is almost more than double. Is the GW price worth it? Let's compare and contrast and find out, shall we? First off, let me say that GW colors aren't bad at all. I just think maybe they are a little bit overpriced for how they perform. And I think they are also pretty inconsistent throughout the range. There are some pretty good colors and some very bad colors. I'm looking at you. To compare the two ranges, I'm gonna choose three colors and their respective highlight color. And I'm not gonna take into account the white and the black. Those from GW, you just, especially white, you just have to throw it away and never use it ever, ever, like ever. Because it doesn't even make it to the race. So for the reds, I picked Corn Red and Evil Sun Scarlet for the Citadel range. And for the AK Interactive range, I picked Wine Red and Deep Red. For yellow citadel, I picked a roll on sunset and flesh gets yellow, which has a bad reputation. And finally, for the blue, I picked the calendar blue and a temple guard blue for the citadel range and the deep blue, green blue for the AK interactive one. I will just apply one coat on the miniatures on a zenithal primed figure. Zenithal priming because I want to see how the color interacts with white primer and black primer. Before we start though, if you like what I'm doing here, smash the like button to let the algorithm god know that this content is worth spreading. Let's start with the red. I will first apply corn red in the first half of Ironsman head, and then I will do the same on the other side, but with AK Interactive Wine Red. Reds are the Citadel colors that I use more frequently from the range. They have a good covering power and they feel good on the brush. Now for the AK one. The paint feels pretty similar on the brush and it applies smoothly. Comparison. First off, I noticed that corn red covers better on white, while it might need another coat on the black. When wine red, it's more efficient even on black. I like both in this case, even though the AK one is a little bit more matte and it covers slightly more. Now let's test some layering, shall we? I started with Evils and Scarlet, layering following the volumes, and then I do the same thing with Deep Prep from EAK Interactive. Comparison The biggest difference is the saturation. Deep Red is way more pigmented and strong, which is a thing that you really want for reds. As the prior colors, AKA is more matte, but the verdict is 
that there is not uh, that big of a difference between Citadel and AK Interactive Red. Not a big of a difference. Next, for the yellow. I start covering part of Iron Man's face with Overland Sunset. Yellow has a very bad rep. And yellow from GW have a much worse rep. Anyway, I try to apply it carefully with the right consistency in order to cover in one coat. I do the same thing with medium sand, which is actually a beige color because that's that's all the yellowish colors I had, so but it's pretty close to Everland Sunset. Comparison. The Overland Sunset performed decently on the white, more saturated than the beige sand, but pretty inconsistent throughout. On the black, it does not cover at all. It probably would need three to four coats to, in order to cover. Okay, it's pretty saturated for a color that's not even called yellow, and it covers way more even on the black. Now I apply flat kits yellow and then deep yellow. And I can tell you right now that the feel of the first color from DW, it's awful, awful. Comparison. So yes, flesh gets yellow. I think it's one of the worst and most awful Citadel color. It's chunky, it's glossy, it's thick, it's hard to thin and apply in a coat that might cover at the first coat. It created texture, of course. Um, on the other hand, the other yellow was pretty okay. Both, both on the, the feel on the brush and on the surface. If you see weird textures because I, I am a klutz and I put my finger on the wet paint, so that's it. But like always, AK Interactive doesn't disappoint. For the blues, I start with Calidor Sky. And the blue. Comparison. Calendar Sky had a little bit of advantage because the side I was painting on was way more white. Still, I, I think it underperformed when dried, even though the application was pretty pleasant. Uh, it's spotty and a little bit glossy, uh, while the AK covered pretty much everything with a single smooth and matte coat. To layer up, I'm using Turquoise Temple Girl Blue for Citadel and green blue, which are slightly different hue, but pretty much the same. Comparison. The conclusion are pretty much the same. Citadel is less covering and a little bit glossy in AK. It's matte and super covering. But still, I think overall the feel of the paint going on, on the surface, it's pretty enjoyable in both cases. So, which one of this is worth it for the price? There is but one answer. AK Interactive. Go buy them now.